Hey, welcome to Electro Online. Now we're going to use the natural exponential function to calculate the growth rate of something or the ultimate population of something that's growing exponentially. So let's say we have uh, a culture of bacteria. We have a thousand bacteria in our culture and the population doubles every hour. What will be the population after 12 hours? And I know we've done something like this before in a previous video, but here we're going to use the natural exponential function. And that's what the function will look like. Actually, what I should write is that the number of bacteria as a function of time is equal to the initial population times e to the rate of growth times time. Now the question is, what is the rate of growth? Well, we know that it grows or doubles once every hour, but how does that translate to a constant in front of the variable here in the exponent that will allow us to find the proper value, the proper number? Well, the way to do that is to use the information to first figure out the value for r, that constant. We do know that the population, when t is equal to 1, is equal to double what it is initially. It would be 2 times n sub naught, the initial population after 1 hour, because after 1 hour we know the population doubles, which means that n when t is equal to 1, so in other words, we can say this will then be 2,000, is equal to the initial population of 1,000 times e to the rate times, and of course that would be 1 hour because we know that when t is one hour, the population will be double what it was before. Now this will allow us to find r. What we're going to do first is divide both sides of the equation. So we get two is equal to e to the r. And then to solve for r, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. Now, we haven't covered the natural log yet in this series. There's another series covering the natural log, but I would assume that most of us know what the natural log is, so we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of 2 is equal to the natural log of e to the r. And of course, the natural log of an exponential function gives you back the exponent, which means the natural log of 2 is equal to r, and so therefore r is equal to approximately 0 0.693, or of course, exactly the natural log of 2 which means if we now want to plug that back into original function, we can now say that our function can now be written as the number as a function of time is equal to the original number, in this case 1000, times e to the 0 0.693 times time. Of course, actually, what we would like to do is put the exact number in there. Of course, there's no exact number of the natural log of 2, but with calculators, we can simply say that n as a function of time is equal to the additional the initial population at time equals zero times e to the natural log of two multiplied times time. And of course, if we use that in our calculator, we'll get the exact answer. So now we're going to try to find the population after 12 hours. So we can say that the population n when t is equal to 12 hours is equal to the initial population of 1,000 times e raised to the natural log of two multiplied times t now being 12 hours times 12. So, with a calculator, that's not hard to do. We take 2, we take the natural log of 2, we multiply the times 12, so you get 8.317766 and so forth. That's the exponent of e, so we use the e to the x button, and then we multiply times 1,000, and what we get then is that the population of bacteria after 12 hours, t equals 12, is equal to 4 million 96 thousand bacteria. And that's of course the exact same result we got in the previous video when we did a similar problem, but there we didn't use the natural exponential function. So here with the natural exponential function, we use the information to find out what the growth rate is in the function. Once we know what r is equal to, we plug that in. Then we plug in any value for t to get the appropriate value for n, the total number after so much time has elapsed. So that's how we use the exponential function, the natural exponential function, to figure out the population in the future if we can figure out the rate and know how much time has elapsed. And that's how we do that.